I'm a woman to be. I'm a woman, yes I see. I'm a woman as this man. I'm born as a man. I'm a woman, yes I'm fine. The heart of things in me. I'm a woman, yes it's me. I'm a woman. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. The way you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Life is infinitely stranger than anything which the mind of man could invent. I'll leave you with that. <laughs> Are you ready? If you could change anything about the world, what would you change? Today we're in Cleveland, Ohio, asking people that question. Come with us. Oh. Okay. I would change everything. We're a mess. If I was president, um, I would be like Donald Trump. I would build the wall. I wouldn't be letting people in our country while I'm not helping the people that live here already. I'd get rid of the internet. I'd shut it down, unplug it. But I just think it's, it does more damage now than good. I mean, how fast do we need things to move? Is it, is it better for us? I don't know. I, don't I think know. I would get rid of the penny. It's needless. Like, let's just make everything decimals of five, you know, get rid of the penny. It's, I think it costs more to make than it's worth. So let's start with that. No one understands, are you kidding me? No one, no one, no one understands my pain. Cause everything just walks away, away. That's it. That was great. I guess I really just take all the like bad relationships I've had and like put like the stuff that's happened in that and like try to write it off of that. People just think the standard should be the pussy and not the pussy the booty hoes, girls like me, and homo men. Mm -hmm. And probably straight, there's probably straight out there that probably can't identify to have me or trans. Creation's new everywhere, so to me it's a woman like me. I can be a woman as this, and how I act is how I'm born to be. Mm -hmm. So how I'm born to be is another way of creating a woman. Yeah, my grandfather was an onion farmer, and my father was, and I got out of that in 2010. Fate led me other direction. It was two consecutive hailstorms. Blues falling down like hail. Shredded my onions and I was done. Some people feel that the style of music I do doesn't specifically fit the color of my skin, so to speak. But music is not seen, it's heard. I wish we could focus on what the real problems are that we have in the country and the world and be less concerned with what people's lifestyles are. like the Secret Service man in black, and this is a picture of my face, and that's me in a, 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 a black suit. Well, the, like, and this part says the Illuminati, like the whole Secret Service and um, top secret type life type things. I'm into the deeper side of life. Under the microscope, I would see everything on this ball, such as the germs and the particles that made the ball bounce like so. Down here, I would see the things that make people do what they do downtown. Like under the microscope, my eyes can see further than a human eye. I can see why people walk to their jobs and what motivates them in life. Instead of everybody just see everybody walking. I would prefer a world more heavenly where everyone treats each other like they want to be treated, where everyone ain't selfish and all for self. That way people would be more happy in life when everybody's not trying to drag the next one down and we all at peace together in this world with harmony. Second thing I would do is get rid of daylight savings time. We don't need that. If I were there, we'd get that through. And then help you guys out, get rid of student debt. I would try to practice kindness more often. I think I'm pretty good at it, but I think, you know, we're human. We slip up sometimes. I want to keep going with that. I've been here a year, and I'm here until I get a new liver.
not from drinking, but I'm a transplant patient. If someone dies, I see a sign that they're okay. You know, when my mom died, she came through my car. I could smell her. Didn't know that she had died until I got to my destination. There's nothing I worry about or fear about because I put it on God's hands. And later today, the three of them are gonna come see the play that I'm in, uh, Moriarty, a, commercial. a Sherlock Holmes adventure at the Cleveland Playhouse. Playing till now the end playing of the week. till May 21st. <laughs> and what role are you in the cast? I'm Sherlock Holmes, the famous detective. I'd like to put a halt on the uh, global warming. I think that would be that'd be kind of nice. I'd get rid of the internet. Mm. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's too much hate. You know, everybody's on everybody else's case. Mm -hmm. And I don't like that. When we used to shoot film, which was an advancement, I guess, but we used to wait for negatives and then we look at them and then. Growing up without, sometimes you, you, you think about things you want, you didn't have. So then all of a sudden you have a little bit of money and you're like, I gotta get these things now. It doesn't improve your life usually. So less is more. I wish you could live more that way. Got a mean disposition. She got some low down in low down evil ways. Lying, hoping I've been trusting. Then my baby.